Hello, this is Luke Coley. Um, I've been asked by a couple people about my SM80 EQ settings, so uh, I opened up the DSP software and grabbed some screenshots to show. And uh, I put a link to the files that I have in the description uh, so you can pull them down and put them on your own um, Danley DSP or the Linnea. Um, first thing, music recommendation is Bill Wirtz. Uh, this tune is Fly Around. It's really fun to listen to on a rig like this. So, um, also, while you're pl while the video is playing, you can pause and look at the actual EQ settings for each one and enter them into your own DSP, should you not be using the um, Danley recommended one. So, uh, first one up is the factory setting. This is the one that is comes with the Danley DSP and Linnea stuff when it's uh, loaded with their, uh, their whole library of presets for their speakers. So... I tried this one at first, and I, I liked it, but I measured it, and it wasn't as nice as I wanted it to be. Um, and it was just it was just the way I wanted to hear it, uh, and the way I was measuring my system it, with, I don't know if it was spacing, but I decided on something a little different. I took out this uh, bump at 2.2K uh, or so, and um, I, I here's my EQ settings. Um, I also took out that bump around like eight nine hundred or that dip, and um, I just like this setting better. I feel like um, I got a better overall measurement, and I like the sound better. Um, like I said, the factory setting just felt aggressive for me. These are my personal tastes. It has nothing to do with what's right or anything like that. Um, and speaking of having a different opinion, here is the other setting I grabbed somewhere off a of Danley group. And this was um, Ivan Beaver of Danley Sound Labs, his settings for the SM80 over TH118 um, setup. And you can see that that 2.2K uh, bump is still there, but the, um, that low mid 900 is actually now like a boost, which is very different. So these are personal preferences. It could have been the uh, measurement at the time. I know mine are spaced about the, I know the box is about nine feet in the air, so gap between the top of the sub is easily five feet, and the driver's at the lower part of the sub, so that's even farther. So you're looking like seven, eight feet. So that could affect the low mid coupling, but it's out of the crossover region. So I don't know. Point is, uh, these are all everyone's different settings, and uh, that's personal taste. So one more time, this is the factory setting. Here's Ivan's. Here's the factory, I, and again, I don't claim that this is actually Ivan's. I don't know that for sure. I just that's what the word was when I downloaded the file. I don't, I cannot verify this. Anyway, factory setting, Ivan. Factory again, and here's mine. And then here's the difference between Ivan's and mine. Cool. All right, those are my EQ settings. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.